products we got a few interesting cars uh, that was at the Mustang show the other day let's look around see what else there is His wife Ashley is here, mm -hmm. and we are here to. Hello. Yeah, well, uh, he did the. Uh, it was an incredible firefighter. Yes. Amazing individual. Came all the way from San Diego yeah. to help us here at the Thomas Fire. Yeah, and you gotta say that of all the jobs on the planet, the most heroic are the firefighters. Always. And I just shook one of their hands, and he nearly broke it. So <laughs> these guys are strong. It's the real deal. Dana, who is over, over here, that's 
Dana right there. He's going to be giving us an intro as to what we're doing, where we're going. It's going to be an awesome day. Thankfully, Maureen Magnuson put this together for us. Um, Daniel Vesa is here. Where is Daniel? Right over here. Daniel, you want to announce? Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. I just want to thank you guys for showing up for this event. It's uh, it's really uh, uh, a wonderful, wonderful chance to see everybody and have the the joy that's in everybody's faces that uh, we're having a great rally today. We have uh, Bill Ryder, uh, the bagpiper over here from uh, uh, ELP the Dozen at the Mahler Museum and a pretty world-renowned bagpiper. He did Nancy Reagan's funeral, he did Billy Graham's funeral. Uh, he's well known, so uh, we're gonna have him send everybody off on uh, the rally today. But again, thank you from uh, myself, Maureen, Jenny, uh, everybody here at Crackmaster for being part of this. And Ashley, I hope you have a, a great rally today. Okay, um, I'm gonna send out before us Colleen, and son Nico, they're going to be our rally masters, if you want to call them that. <laughs> but they're going to score you on different uh, activities that you're going to encounter along the way. David and I started working on this with Ashley about the first of the year. And as you can imagine, it takes a lot of effort to put something like this together. And thankfully, Ashley was very instrumental in doing that. She's got with her your father. I actually have two of my board members, Molly Good and my dad, Jim Virgo. So we're going to start in a few minutes, and we have a few things that are very timely, so we have to take off pretty quickly.
1964 Studebaker with Mr. David Neal from the Murphy Museum. How are you? And Max, who is our co-pilot navigator right down here. He's a little on the lowdown. Where are we going first? So first leg is a secret stop along PCH. We're gonna throw some uh, cornhole and then from there we're heading up to the second secret stop which is Lake Casitas. And uh, <laughs> We won't tell anybody. Yeah, lots of fun things and uh, uh, cool things we're gonna do along the way. are all playing cornhole and you can't continue the rally until you've thrown it in. I'm not sure if you have to get it in or not. You just gotta play a game of cornhole and then you can get going. But it's a good place for photo ops. We've got some amazing cars as you can see. Uh, everyone's splitting already. We're not here for that long so you just gotta get it in the hole and move on. Station uh, number 25 here in Ventura County. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing here, but I'm about to find out. Just last week you called me. The way you're talking is driving me insane. Hello. Oh, 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 oh,
escorted to Ojai by Ventura County uh, Fire Department. Wow, this is great. This guy is fantastic. Morning, gentlemen. Thumbs up. Thank you, man. Thumbs up, guys. Good morning, everybody. We are now in uh, a, the battalion chief's car, uh, an SUV, uh, because Ventura County Fire Department is escorting us into Ojai? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Battalion Chief Todd Leak. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for coming along. All right. Inviting us on this uh, celebration. Yeah, this is an recording. extraordinary uh, rally so far. But, you know, you guys have to deal with some pretty extraordinary things that, that the average person doesn't. And uh, on behalf of everybody here that watches this show, and we have a lot of people out there, uh, thank you for that. You're more than welcome. To that. Well, what's unique about the fire service is that um, every day that you come to work, you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. Um, it could be anything from medical calls that our engine companies go on to uh, public service calls for um, uh, horses that have uh, fallen into a ditch to to assistance with uh, children um, getting there they lock themselves in the cars yeah so um, obviously it increases during the year when the uh, east when the winds start blowing mm -hmm. and the fire activity picks up sure so we'll go on from medical calls to structure fires to traffic accidents to to brush fires so it can be as simple as a, a cat in a tree to basically what Corey went through Absolutely, yeah. exactly. Right. Yeah. And it's it is a tight niche family, and I and I've dealt with a lot of firefighters, and it's interesting that not only are they families within their own unit, but the connection that you guys have nationwide to to working with people, it's it's one big family. Yes, it is. There's a tight bond. I think anytime you go through um, difficult times, whether it's in the military when you're fighting, mm -hmm. um, or in the fire service when you're fighting fires. It creates a, a, a creates a bond. Yeah. Of difficult times. Right. Uh, I would say the Thomas fire. That was be involved with that um, from the infancy of, of starting out in Santa Paula and being involved with that fire for as long as it lasted. Yeah. And how and how long did it last? Uh, I believe is. I don't have exact date, but it was it was a good month before they had uh, containment on it. Yeah. Yeah. That was tough. It is exciting when you first start doing it and you uh, the the, um, in, the amount of responsibility that comes with it. Sure. It sinks in over time, so it's it's a uh, high risk um, but rewarding uh, job to have. Mm -hmm. What what in your words is the, the the best part about being a firefighter? I think the satisfaction you get from helping people in their in their time of need um, mm -hmm. when that that really sinks in. I think that's the majority of reason why people get involved in fire service. Sure. It, may sound a little corny to say that, but there is a great satisfaction to uh, to show up and make things better for I, somebody during their worst period. I, I tell you, when, when, you have a tr when you're having a trouble in some capacity and the and the firemen show up, there's nothing corny about that, man. <laughs> Thank God you guys are here. Thank you. 